Hey guys, Cody Hoffine with Wholesaling Inc., the number one wholesaling coaching program in the nation. And I want you to say hello to my little friend, the Rhino. If you guys have been listening to the podcast, then you are very familiar with the Victory Bell, where we ring that for each one of our students that recently have gone out and done their first deal. And they share with you step by step how they did it. Now, this video is designed to help you with your mindset. I'm gonna ask you some questions that are gonna make you think. So get ready, let's go right to the meat and potatoes and let's get right to it. Let's get right into this right now. Now, why we're here, hit that subscribe button as well as the bell. The bell is what gives you the alert when we upload new content, which we are doing weekly and we're gonna to get to the point where we're doing it daily. So let's get going right now. I'm gonna ask you a question, and I want you to really think about this and be real with yourself in this moment. These are questions that I was asked by one of my mentors about five years ago. So coincidentally, this question is gonna be tied to the five year, get ready. Ask yourself this question. This is a question I had to ask myself, and it was right around five years ago. Where do you see yourself five years from now? Think about this. There's power behind this question because it starts to make you realize what you're doing each and every day and it helps you understand, are you on the correct path right now that's gonna lead you to where you wanna be five years from now? So dream big, start dreaming, start putting this down, make a vision board and start making a vision and a dream of what five years looks like. Maybe you're thinking to yourself, well, I wanna be debt free, or I wanna be able to, uh, if someone said tomorrow, go to on a cruise with my family, that I literally could say, without even thinking, I can go on a cruise, I wouldn't have to check in with a boss, I wouldn't have to worry about sick days or anything like that, that I could just pack up, leave tomorrow. Whatever your five years looks like, start putting it down. You have to know what you want. So this is gonna help you this question. If my wife said, hey, we're having dinner tonight, Cody, and I want you to go to the store and pick up some groceries. And then you go to the grocery store and you just start going through the aisles and you're like, okay, maybe some of this and maybe some of that. And well, I like this. I don't know if my wife likes this and, and maybe some of this. And then you go home and your wife's like, what the heck is this crap? What is this, what, what did you just bring home for dinner? Well, you told me to pick up groceries. And she's like, we're having pasta, we're having spaghetti. There's no like prego sauce, there's no pasta, there's no nothing, this doesn't work. You got chips and you got an onion and you got ketchup. What are we gonna do with this? Why, where, is, wh where does the mistake come from when you think about this? Where's that mistake? The mistake was, I had no clue what my wife wanted. I had no vision, I had no grocery list to get exactly what it was that she actually wanted so that we could have a successful dinner. The same thing, sometimes we go through life and we really don't know what we want, but yet we work each and every day thinking, well, maybe it'll just lead me somewhere where I wanna be five years from now. Guys, it's much the same as what I just said with the grocery store. Know exactly what you want. Have a dream, have a vision, exactly pinpoint down, pencil it down, put it down on a piece of paper, put it on a vision board. What does your five years look like so that you actually know what you are working towards and if what you're doing right now is actually leading you to where you wanna be five years from now, okay? Now, here's the further question my mentor asked me. So not only where do you see yourself five years from now, the next question that helps you realize are you on the right track is this one. Look at this question. This one was the one that helped me realize my reality if I was on the right path. And I will explain to you if I was or I wasn't right now with this. But the question is, look at someone five years ahead of you in your same industry to help you realize if it's something good or if it's something bad. So look at someone five years ahead of you. For me, it was the insurance industry. And I had to look at, and I was blessed to have people in my office that were in the industry a lot longer than five years. And then there were some that I knew that were just exactly five years ahead of me. 
And I had to look at myself and say, and be honest with myself, are they where I wanna be? Is that the life I wanna be doing? Do I see myself saying, yes, five years from now, if I'm where they're at, man, this is gonna be awesome. If so, you're on the right path. For me, it wasn't the right path. I was looking at every one of those individuals, even though they were great individuals, people that I liked, people that I looked up to, people that I learned a lot from, it wasn't where I personally wanted to be. It has nothing against any kind of insurance or them loving insurance and me not. I just wasn't passionate about selling an insurance policy. It wasn't fun for me anymore. I was losing drive. So this daunting question, find someone five years ahead, Guess what would have happened if I would have stayed with insurance five years longer? Ultimately, I would have been five years older and still come to the reality that I still don't like insurance. I'm still not passionate about it. And it wasn't gonna go anywhere different. So I knew at that moment there had to be a change. Something had to change. And we learned from Jim Rohn, we learned from Tony Robbins, and Tony Robbins, he always says, if you want life to change, it's you that has to change. If you want life to get better, it's you that has to get better. Who's with me? Say I, right? This is what it looks like. Tony gets you that rah, rah cheerleader and he lets you know exactly how it is. If you want life to get better, it's us that has to get better. If we want life to change, it's us that has to change. Insurance is not gonna change and my passion for it was never gonna change. So I knew I ultimately had to change myself. I knew that if I want life to get better, I had to get better. That's the power behind this question. It lets you know instantly, are you on the right path? Is where you're at right now currently, five years from now, does it look good? If so, kudos to you. For most people, it's not. And for most people like myself, it actually would have been worse off because now you're five years older. You've wasted five years doing the same thing that you already hated five years prior. Make that change, okay? Now something to think about is indecision, indecision is the number one thief of opportunity. What does that even mean? It means right now, as you're thinking about these questions, these powerful questions, where do you see yourself five years from now? Where do you see someone five years ahead of time? Do you see that they're in the right place? And if they're not, and you don't wanna trade them places, or it's not leading you to where you wanna go, you're gonna to have to start making decisions because being indecisive is the number one thief of opportunity. You've gotta be willing to make decisions. And sometimes it's on the spot decisions. But once you make that decision, you've gotta to commit to stay true to that because you've already asked yourself the right questions. Where do you see yourself? And are you on the right path? And if not, when you make that decision, you gotta realize there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna go against that. Maybe your current employer is gonna be like, you're crazy, you're dumb, you're getting into wholesaling, you're getting into real estate. Did you not see what took place in 2008? You are nuts. It was like a huge crash and I bet you the market's gonna crash again, then what? I'm telling you, you should stay right here with the golden handcuffs on and get benefits and get insurance paid to you and just work for me the rest of your life. You really should consider this. It even could be a Sunday dinner with some of your closest family friends or your family members. You're sitting there at the dinner table and you're explaining to them exactly this. Hey, I found out what I wanna be five years from now and what I'm currently doing is not gonna get me there and so I'm actually gonna start getting into wholesaling and, and really get into this real estate game and it could be that even your own parents or your own siblings are gonna see, what? You worked so hard for that degree. You worked, I know it's only a four year degree, but it took you seven years to get it. You should be a doctor, but you're not, but it's okay, you worked so hard for that bachelor degree. Why would you give up all that hard work to get into real estate? You're completely crazy. So you gotta be careful, because that's all around. Now, don't think of it as they're haters. They're not haters. They're just genuinely concerned about your future. But you have to remain true to your decision that you're gonna make so that you can ultimately succeed 
in whatever it is you wanna do. I'm not saying wholesaling is the answer. I'm not saying that's everyone's answer. But if you're watching this video, chances are you really wanna get into real estate and wholesaling just happens to be the best way to get into it. It doesn't take a lot of money. It doesn't take a lot of time. In fact, you can do wholesaling part-time right out of the gates while you're still working that full-time job at corporate America. That's the beauty behind all this. And then ultimately, when it starts working for you and you cash your first five grand paycheck, what will that do for you? When you cash your first 10 grand paycheck, when you cash your first 15 grand paycheck, what does that do for you? What does that begin to do for you and your family? What does that begin to do for you and your kids? Think about these things, because it's very real. Is it gonna be easy? No, it's tough. This is super hard. But the things that bring the greatest joys, the greatest successes, the greatest smiles, the greatest happinesses, it's always gonna be tough. In fact, if life is easy, I would submit to you that you are on the wrong path. You wanna be uncomfortable every single day. Success starts where comfort ends. Once you get uncomfortable and you start moving forward and charging like my little friend, the rhino, where you just get out there and charge each and every day, that's where you start to find success. It's gonna be uncomfortable. It's gonna be challenging. But ultimately, stay true to your vision. Where you see yourself five years from now, is the path that you're on currently actually leading you there? And what decisions are you gonna to make today and actually keep so that it doesn't rob you of opportunity? I hope these questions have been something that has helped you out right now to really think about and get your mindset right. And what I want you to do is, on the bottom, down below, I want you to start commenting. And I want you to re tell me, help me understand this. What is the action you're gonna take today so that it puts you on the path that's gonna lead you where you wanna go and where you wanna be five years from now? Share me the one action. I don't need two, three, or four. Just the one action and the most critical action today that you're gonna take so that it puts you on the path to where you wanna be five years from now. I'm gonna help comment down below. When I hear these comments, you'll see me chiming in and responding to this. I love you guys, I appreciate you watching. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so it notifies you, and I will see each one of you on our next YouTube video. Take care, guys.